I told you. I told everyone. I've been telling people this for years. Yes, diet sodas, artificial sugars do increase your appetite. And now we finally know why, and it doesn't have anything to do with hormones. Look, information is not going to cause me to change my behaviors. I know what I am, but I do know why. Over the years, there has been a lot of hotly contested data that shows that if mice and people consume diet beverages, they're prone to weight gain. And there's been a variety of explanations because we know it doesn't affect your hormones. Some have said that it's psychological or that it's something that would only happen in mice. There's been this idea that sweet things, artificial sugars, just provides a bandage over people's self-control and doesn't actually teach them that. Or that if people drink diet sodas, they're going to psychologically think that they can eat something else because they're saving calories. Turns out, no. What this research group found is that it changes the way that your brain processes information. They gave people either sweetened soda, artificial sweeteners, or water, and used an MRI to look at what their brain was doing. They found a marked increase in the hypothalamus blood flow when people were drinking artificial sweeteners. The hypothalamus is associated with risk and reward and your motivation to do things, including consuming. Interestingly, this is the exact same phenomenon that we see in people who are overweight. They have more hypothalamus activity. Now, I would be remiss to not tell you that a lot of this kind of research has been fraught with controversies. Some of them are just the fact that we've seen mice that have eaten more artificial sweetener gain more weight over time, but we have no metabolic explanation for why that might be, so I have a hard time buying it. There's also been research that has demonstrated that women have a greater health impact from eating artificial sugars, they tend to gain more weight, than men. And we don't know why that is. It could have something with the way the hypothalamus responds to these things. More research is needed. Now for me, I have utilized this to my advantage because I have stomach problems. I get nauseated a lot. I'm not often able to finish an entire meal. So if I need to boost my appetite, I'll use soda as a way of doing that. The specific reason that may work, at least my hypothesis, because I do know that it works, is that hungry tends to override nauseated. Unfortunately, I have created a weird feedback cycle where I can't tell if I'm hungry or nauseated, and I'm usually wrong. Look, what I'm describing is called operant conditioning, and you can use it if you want to, but you're gonna find weird effects along with it. What that actually reminds me of is that one research that I've talked about a few times where they gave mice false memories by activating that memory in the presence of female mice, which is, you know, a good experience for a mouse but it didn't override the last memory specifically. It made them associate the painful experience with the female mice. Yes, I'm, I'm saying what you think I'm saying. So cheers, are you gonna change your behavior?